Hi Pisces, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and there's also my website charliesangeltarot.com so please find this informa information below this video in the description box and welcome back to my faithful followers the Cyber Angels and if you would like to become a Cyber Angel then join us live there will be free cards given away and the uh, we have a listening ear, we are one big happy family and there is also super stickers and super chats available and I will answer your question with three cards and an oracle card after donation there is different types of donations so please have a scout around um, on uh, 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 YouTube and uh, in the live chat just pop in and I'll be happy to give you a card or two and you can join the cyber family and become uh, an angel of the cyber family. Okay, and uh, this is your reading for the 24th to the 1st of March. Where is the time going to? Well, look at it positively. I'm glad the spring is coming. And um, we do also healings in the live session. So please come in and join the family. Okay, let's get started. We've got for the first card, we've got the Knight of Wands. This deck is totally dedicated to the feminine side of our from ourselves, whether we're man or woman, or to the uh, female species, for their beautiful, mysterious, sexy, loving, caring natures. Well, this night of uh, once, you can't see the face of the man, but we all know that a, man, a night is a man, and you'll be receiving news. This news has to be acted upon, upon very swiftly, um, as the nights are swift as well, the fire signs, and direct. It could be a move, meaning, a move of home. Uh, it could be news about a job or about a creative project or a new passion with um, a fire sign Pisces. This could be a Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo. To complement or confirm this card, we have the King of Wands. Something is going to become very clear to you. He is a... Um, a person with wisdom and communication and it also stands for justice so if you are in a judicial situation this could be news from the justice system that you are fine that you have got victory or you might be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian they're both communicators and they both stand for wisdom and also um, communication, clarity, justice, that's what the air signs stand for. But this man is a very, very direct person. He will cut straight through to the core to get the truth above uh, board and get you justice so that you can become back in balance. So something will become clear to you. Okay. You might even start getting news about a job and this job could be like a hairdresser, butcher, judge, um, a surgeon because he cuts. So anything with a, an occupation that cuts that can uh, represent the king of uh, swords. That you've got this job. So the clarity has come in that you've got the job. Midweek, in midweek you have the Five of Pentacles. Perhaps you feel left out, left out from a group of friends or left out by family and friends or at work. Well, perhaps that's why you are changing your job. Perhaps you're going into a totally new vocation and that's why you're feeling a little bit um, left out because when you go to a new job, you have to get to know the people in order to feel one with them. But don't worry, this is short-lived. And look at these beautiful gates of heaven. 
the angels have your back. Then we've got the hanged man. The hanged man means there might be suspension, um, like uh, there might be a delay in getting this job off the ground, or this project, or this passion, or um, whatever. There might be a delay. If you're in a judicial situation, it might be a delay as well, because you have to get clarity. Uh, you might need more insight, more, um, what do you call it, evidence. And so you have to get some more research, or they have to get more research, your lawyer, or your advocate, or your bookkeeper, uh, in order to get things clear. So you might have a delay of four hours, four days, four weeks, or four months. Let's hope it's only four hours. But this means that there is suspension or delays. Also, it is time to take time out so that you can get, like this bird, a, a, a helicopter view, a different perspective on the situation. Perhaps about this new institution that you're joining, like a job or a school or a study, because the King of Swords also stands for studying. Perhaps you might go into a new study, because he stands for wisdom, so gathering knowledge. Friday, you have the chariot, and you, uh, Pisces, have victory. You might be coming back from, you might be going on a trip or moving home. You, this is Pegasus, but it also because his flames are on fire. He's going with speed. So there might be something quickly happening this week on Friday, and um, you might be going on a trip. Or moving home, you're going onwards and upwards. Something positive is here. You've got public recognition. So, um, with public recognition, you it might be like this, that you might get a promotion because uh, the firm that you work in or something in, or in a club, you might get um, recognition because you're a good goalkeeper or a good shooter in football. And so you might be the head foot, uh, footballer in the team, so you have to shoot the goals to, to get victory for the um, a game, uh, for the team. Now, Chariot also meets, means that you can meet a Cancer. So perhaps you have the water sign, uh, the, sorry, the fire sign, the air sign, because they're two prominent characters, and here you've got air again. We've got the couple here. Um, more, well, not the couple, this is not the Queen, but she is a woman, and she does look like the Queen of Swords in the deck. Um, so, yeah, it could be an air sign or a fire sign, but also because Chariot is from the bigger colour, the Cancer. Underneath the uh, Chariot, you have um, the Ace of Swords, like I said. The king might represent also a new course, a new course in study. But the ace of swords means victory. You've got victory. So what has been in suspension is four days, um, because I'm reading this uh, the week prior. That's on Thursday. So um, uh, Monday, uh, and the week really starts on Sunday, Monday, but Monday will be the 24th, so that's mon mon uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days. So at the end of the week, you've got clarity and victory. You are going to celebrate. Ooh -hoo. So you've got victory, a new beginning in study, or perhaps um, a passion or a love or a relationship with an air sign. At the weekend, we've got an amazing card, Stability. Yes, if you've got this new beginning, um, and I think it's more or less going to be in a municipality. Uh, a, a municipality is an institution of the government to work with the letter of the law, because this is the letter of the law, this is the letter of the law, and judgment is also, you are being judged. I'm playing with the words here, okay? 
So um, judge, judge, judge and jury. So um, I'm getting to feel that you are going to have victory um, either starting a study as a lawyer or a jurist or a judge or perhaps some other study, but also getting clarity in an issue if you are in an issue. The, uh, the delay has been for four days, I think, and will be for four days. So on Friday at Saturday, you'll definitely know through the post. You might get a message because you've got the Knight of Wands. Um, and it will be stable, so there will be celebrations. You might be invited to a wedding or an other form of celebration. Perhaps it's come, become clear to you with all this uh, municipality stuff and judges and juries that you might be getting married in an in You might be getting married in an institution. Look at the stairs, like the bride comes down the stairs. Something has become clear, and it's judicial. Uh, what you might call that, that's the uh, registry office, that's it. You might be going to the registry office, and there's definitely a new beginning here as well, because you've got judgment, and judgment means that Gabriel, this is supposed to be Gabriel in the traditional terror, terror but he's a... a, a um, mythology uh, characteristic or a Greek or a Roman character coming down the stairs. He's like Hermes coming down the stairs. I haven't got to this card yet in my series and I'm lacking time but um, he, it's a beautiful picture. The rising dead are giving, being given life so it might be a new beginning or a second chance and a second chance is also a new beginning but in other form. So perhaps something has become clear, you, you had a trouble in your relationship and you went to somebody and talked to somebody because you felt left out of the relationship. And in a relationship, two people need to exist to make it work. And you got the help, a marriage guidance counsellor for instance, and you might be getting married again or remarried you're having celebrations getting together and continuing your relationship or your relationship might go up a next step and there will be a new level in your relationship again it's a beautiful reading this could go either way in business or in love but there will be definitely there will be um, Renewness, that's the word I get, but he um, represents moving home and this is buying a home or renting a new place. Moving home, getting a stability within a new home. Now Millie's stuck, so oh, I've got to pick up Millie, sorry guys. That's the way she talks to me, that's why you hear her whining. She sits in the windowsill and looks out with the cat, but the cat left. So that's why she feels lonely. Again, a new beginning. You've got transformation. You've got number 13, death. And it's not a real death, but it's a, um, a, a, a transition into the new. Uh, you, you are leaving the past behind. And... Um, you're not the caterpillar, you are the butterfly. You're going into a new, beautiful beginning. Now, I, I think it's either work or a study or a new relationship. Here again, we've got the king of wands. That's the all over energy from this deck. And the death was the um, all over energy for the other cards. So um, there is something new burning inside you. There's a new beginning in a hobby or a passion, but make sure that with um, an air sign or a fire sign, know, know your boundaries. They are chatty and they are swift. Um, and they, when once the, uh, the air sign falls in love, they fall in love hook, line and sinker. And remember, they stand for clarity and justice and honesty. So they will 
be very picky and they will pick pick right or cut right through to the core and they'll keep on picking like finding a needle in a haystack they will get that needle before they move on um because that's what they want and with the fire sign well the fire sign is a sagittarius aries or leo and they can be picky too they they definitely pick their partners and they hold on to them for dear life they will never let them go because they can be very stubborn in letting go if something goes wrong they they won't let go so know your boundaries passion doesn't last if you want this relationship to have a second chance or to grow into a fully fledged relationship know your boundaries and know theirs and know what they want and let them know what you want but communicate this communicate this very clearly otherwise you will burn and that is not a threat that is a warning so consider yourself warned a warned uh, 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 an armed forewarned is forearmed now we've got two more cards and we've got the from the uh, answer of the angels means forgiveness so that's why this could be a second chance okay make things clear have things clear and be honest because you can see this you'll have victory if you are clear and honest and precise okay Pis pisces forgiveness forgiveness can work miracles when you release the past a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes away over you ask your angels to help you let go of sadness and pain caused by others so that you can be free and that is this could be that you are feeling left out by the pain of others that is caused by others so free yourself and perhaps that's why you've isolated yourself and that's why you feel out of sorts and left out this card because that's what the gym uh, the air signs do they will cut away after trying twice or three times they'll give up up and same with the fire signs this card can also refer to a need for self-forgiveness it's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on the re on to regarding past mistakes you may have made give yourself credit for having try, tried your best even if the results weren't what you would have liked focus on the changes you've made since then and have made you better a better person look at what you have reached so far in other words we all make mistakes but if we can forgive and forgive others and forgive ourselves we've come a long way then you don't hold any bitterness and then you can carry on and then the new beginnings will be much more joyous now Pisces I would suggest surrender comparisons with other people don't compare your present uh, partner or any future partner with the past they are just as colorful if not more but in a different way keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power and don't compare yourself either because you have other colors be the beacon yes because you are awesome but don't you can't compare one painting with another okay so make yourself shine and beautiful from within and out use the colors uh, that you have on your uh, palette because you are unique every person is unique but just forgive if somebody's nasty forgive them and if you've been nasty then forgive yourself okay so 
paint with the colors you have on your palette. You're unique. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the live sessions. So take care, Pisces, and have a beautiful week. Please give us the thumbs up and share this video with family and friends. Be blessed.